What's up, JT Gunner here, and I am back with more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So, we made it to the Dueling Peak Stable, and I was looking for the shrine last time, couldn't find it. And as you guys already saw, it's up there. So, we need to get up there. How do we do that? Good question. I guess there's many ways we could try to do to get up there. I think the best way is to build ourselves a hot air balloon, though. So, we're gonna just... I don't know. We're gonna take this big piece of wood right here. I think this will be good. Alright. We'll take that piece of wood. We will help out the stable trotters and the um, great fairy in a bit, but we're gonna do the shrine first because the shrine always comes in handy. Handy dandy. Anyway, flame emitter right here, right smack dab in the center. Balloon right here, right on top of that. Bing bang boom, here we go. And away we go. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing alright. I found a I found a shrine, y'all. And we're just making some progress. I know we've sort of diverted from Hmm. There's Pen up there. Looks like he's got a side quest for us. It's an interesting side quest, so we might do that too. Uh oh. I think we're about to run out. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's give it a charge. I just remembered I have plenty. There we go. Let's keep going up. Yeah, Penn's talking about the Yiga, so the Yiga are nearby and they're up to no good. So, we're just going to keep on climbing. I think this is good enough. And have Tulin blow us over here. Here's our handy dandy shrine. Now, not only can we get to this uh, stable more easily, we can get up here more easily. So, the Esho Shrine. What do we do here? I don't know. I haven't spent any of my lights yet, but I will be doing that. Don't you worry. I'll be doing that in the future. Okay. Let's see. Combat training. Shields. Okay. Should be rather simple. It's just combat training. It's a lot different from the uh, test of strength. Then again, I guess... There are still shrines where you just have to fight a bunch of enemies. But the test of strength shrines could be, um, from Breath of the Wild is pretty, um, could be pretty hard. Reflect a projectile if you parry it with your shield at just the right time. So that's Z, L, and A. Alright. On fire! There we go. That's how it's done. Had to be made of fire. Me and my wooden shields. My wooden shield on top of a wooden shield. Oh yeah. Okay, so. Basically, you don't want to use a metal shield against the electricity. You don't want to use a fire shield against uh wood wooden shield against um fire. Come on. Hit me. We'll be fine though. We don't have he won't burn our shield down immediately, I don't think. Well, I want to grab this charge, though. I did grab his bow. Oh, yeah, and there's more shields over there if I wanted. There we go. Yeah, you put you put away a wooden shield, it'll stop being on fire, so... It'll still damage it, though, so... You have to be careful with fire. Don't be careful when you play with fire, I guess. Alright. Of course, we, they have some magic wands. Let me take a picture. Rusty broadsword. Guess I've never used a rusty broadsword. There's a topaz on it. That one has a ruby on it. I'll take a picture of more stuff. Yeah, this will be handy for the compendium later. Old wooden shield. Okay. Take a picture of the bow. Nope. Okay. It's good to take pictures of things. Um because when you get when you get the upgraded version of the sensor, you can um you can have it like look for things that are in your compendium. Ooh, we have a really good shield, so we're gonna get rid of this one. A mighty Zonite shield. Oh yeah. Give me my light. So I can be on my merry way. Oh boy.
It was kind of too close to my mic. It was really peeking right there. I'm sorry. Oh boy. I think if I push it farther away from me, it'll be better too. Because I am sitting pretty close. You know, I think you have the, uh... You think you have the audio peaking stuff figure out, and then you figure out... No, not really. I'm not a pro with this recording stuff. I still... I'm still not. I've only been using this mic for, like, about a year. When I first started doing Let's Plays, I was just using my headset mic. Which wasn't far from ideal, but... It was the only thing I had. And I saved up for a Blue Yeti mic, and... My life has been better. At least my audio sounds better than it did before. Anyway, let's go talk to Pen. What? Uh? Oh, phew, it's just you, partner. I should have known you'd turn this midday hour to your advantage and sneak up on me. Hmm, my feathers are really ruffled, aren't they? Oh, no, you spooking me isn't what I'm talking about. Although, that did a number on me, too. She, I mean, Princess Zelda was... Princess Zelda, she was kidnapped! Mm. Have you heard of the Yiga partner? They're a gang of lowlifes who worship an evil entity and plot against Princess Zelda. Huh? And now they claim they have kidnapped her. What's more, they're not even worried about being found. In fact, they have sent a message to the newspaper. We have taken Zelda to the carved-out heart of the Towering Twins. Understandably, Miss Tracy's all worked up over this news. Mm. I came out here because the word twins made me think of the Dueling Peak stable. But I haven't found any other clues so far. There must be huh? something. Partner, we cannot allow these chirps and twarbles of evil to go unanswered. So, that's a side quest we could do. We'll probably do that one because it's a pretty funny side quest, in my opinion. And I think I really want to do more of his side quests. Because I really want that sticky armor that, that Tracy has anyway. We can make more food, right? Uh, there we go. Hello, you. I'm gonna cook. Salted grilled prime meat. I got plenty of food, don't I? I'm almost full up. Okay. I don't need to worry. Alright. Ooh, soup ladle. There we go. You can use that as a weapon if you want. I can't carry any more melee weapons. Oh no. Okay, maestro. What's going on? Aha! I know that face. Yes, that's a face I know. Have you come to meet another great fairy? Ah, I must be mistaken. I merely assume because the Great Fairy Kotera is such a notable attraction to Dueling Peak Stable. She's over there. Alas, the local Great Fairy hasn't emerged from her flower bud in quite some time. I'm sure she's scared to come out just like the Great Fairy at the Woodland Stable. She used to listen to Beat's drum so fondly. Hearing his lively beat again will be the thing to cheer her up, but Beat simply isn't here. Beats is a young drummer who plays for the stable trotters, but one day he took his leave from the troop. We haven't seen him since. Oh, there's a traveler who heard a harp drum somewhere. Where was that again? Maybe near Kakariko Village to the north where the road bends around Bonaru Stand. Hmm. So we can't do that right now. We actually have to go all the way out to Kakariko. So it was north of Kakariko, was it? Where's Kakariko again? We really should go to, like, Kakariko just so we could stop by the goddess um, statue. I'm trying to remember where Kakariko is. I can never remember. No, it's right here! Labeled clearly. Where's Bonaru's stand? Okay, so... Bonaru's stand is right there. I think I could just... I don't even think I'd... I don't need to just fast travel over there. I don't even think I can. I think it's still blocked off, so, um... Yeah, we'll just have to, uh... Get a horse and go over there, I guess. Anyway. First things first. I think we could do the, um... Yiga side quest, because they're hiding out in Dueling Peaks. They're going to be somewhere... They're going to be somewhere around these mountains, and um, I don't quite remember where it is, but, you know, just do some looking, and you'll see, you'll see where they are. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some looking around, and hopefully I can find them, kick their ass, and find out what the heck is going on. All right. So... We, have a, we do have a rocket. I'm gonna try to get some altitude. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna... There we go. Take away my extra shield for the shield. Take, take out this rocket. Then use fuse on my shield. Make a rocket shield. That way I could just fly. All right. Oop. There we go. It'll help us out a lot if we could, uh, just sort of 
get to higher ground so we could do some looking. We can, uh, really try to figure out what the heck's going on around here. Probably shouldn't be jumping, though. wonder if we can just let go, do some walking, rest up a little. There we go. Do that here, too. Nope. Okay, that was foolish. Okay, that's all right. Close to the top. Well, we're close to a walkable surface, I think. I think we could just jump a little. Let me pull this mic closer. Put it away so it wouldn't be too loud, but, um, I don't know. Just trying to be audible without being, uh, without peeking. Finding that right balance ain't so easy. Not for me, anyway. Okay, so, we're up top here. Just gonna do some looking. Oh boy. Looks like we got some baddies hiding out. You know I'm here. Uh-oh. There we go. Just blew up most- well, blew up one of them. Alright. Oh shit. Is it gonna pick up a bomb barrel? Not on my watch. Check this shit out. There we go. There we go. Cool. Watch out, because I'm low on arrows, I think. We'll take the horns and fangs. We got the carved- oh, there we go. And that's what I'm looking for. The carved out heart of dueling peaks. What's this? What's this? We finally found her. It's Princess Zelda. Look at her. Just look at her. Just look at her. Look at that face. Look at her. Look at that smile. Look at her. Anyway, hold on. Oh yeah, we have my stick. Okay. Now we have that for the compendium. Hold on. How do we... There we go. There we go. Hold on, let's get closer. And it's like... There we go. Start posing. Wait. Like, there she is! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we're gonna replace the picture. There we go. Alright. Alright, Zelda, what's your deal? Oh, Link, you came to save me. You recognize who I am, right? Zelda, I knew you'd come and save me quickly. Do something to open this cage. Alright, Zelda, let's help you out, and hopefully you're up to... You're up to, uh, good... And not no good. Only the valiant golden-haired knight known as Link could have moved such a sturdy cage like that. Wahaha, I knew we'd lure in some heroic wannabes if we use Zelda as bait, but we even managed to snare you. Hey, don't worry, once we find the real Zelda, we'll send her to join you. Promise. Alright, everybody, this is definitely the golden-haired golden boy. Get him! It was the Yiga! It was a trap! Oop. Watch out! Aha! Thought you're so clever. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, there goes my hammer. That's alright, I really need... Really need a faster weapon to deal with these guys. Nope. There we go. Take your sword, though. Anyway, killed him. Alright, there we go. Solve... We solved the mystery. We'll let you off easy for now, but don't get used to it. We won't hold back next time. Be prepared. Right. Hey, partner, what are you up to down there? You see? Ah. I've been circling the area for leads. I was sure the word twins in that vicious letter was referring to dueling peaks. Ah. Now I'm not so sure. I found nothing at all anywhere around here. What about you? Have you figured out anything on your end? Oh. What? You're saying the Yiga sent us that letter... All to lure you into a trap? Or why would the Yiga give a hoot about you, partner? Kind of tooting your own horn there a bit, little bit. <laughs> anyway, getting back on track here, it's a huge relief knowing that Princess Zelda hasn't actually been kidnapped. Mm. We've been working three of the stories related to Princess ah. Zelda. You know, I don't think anyone would take you for a rookie with how hard you're working these investigations. I'm sure Tracy appreciates your efforts. Go on and t add this to your nest egg, partner. Alright. 
Oh, oh whoops, I almost forgot, partner. Tracy's been really impressed with you and asked me to give you a bonus. Here you go. All right. I'll head off and start pecking away at an article about the Yiga clan scheme. People need to know the truth. Soar along. All right, so that's one side quest down. All right. So we're just going to go fast travel back over here and go try to find that lost musician. Hmm. I wonder what happens if I dive into this body of water. Oh! It wasn't deep. Well then! That was weird and wacky. Note self. Don't do that again. Alright, so we're gonna go to the stable, grab a horse. Because what we want to do is sort of go up north. Because there should be the musician around this area. So, we're gonna do that. Anyway, hello, Beetle. Yeah. I am an adventurous traveler. I want some arrows, because I desperately need them. So, I'll take them all. There we go. Take them. Wow! He sounds so fake impressed. It's like, wow! Whoa! I can't believe it! Uh... I could sell him some ambers. I'm not gonna hold on to them, though. Okay. Anyway. Give me my horse. Give me a pony point. Alright. I want to take a horse. Get honeycomb again. Ah. Okie doke. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go on our little search for the musician so we can help out the stable trotters get to where they need to be. Ooh, out of my way. Oh crap, another another little Korok. Okay, what's your deal, buddy? A bunch of things we can do. Oh, he's just on the other side. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, well, we'll do this later. We'll do him later. Because it's like... I don't know. What we can do is attach him to a horse-drawn wagon. But that would require us to, uh... You know, get the, uh, whole... Ooh. Okay, fine. We'll distract ourselves a little bit. Ooh. Okay. Can you hit me with the big stick? I don't think so. All right, give me the treasure. All right, wonder what's inside. All righty. Keep getting distracted by things I know. Ooh, cannon. That's a fun device to have, kinda. Get my horse and we will be on our way. Okay. Ooh. Sorry about that horse. Want to get on that bridge so we can travel up that road and try to listen for a drum. Ever mean? We'll just sort of ignore it. Good old Kakariko Bridge, I believe this is. Sure is. All right. All right, horse. Settle down. And the horse will automatically follow along the road, so you don't have to manually control it to do that. So, that's something fun. You could just play with one hand for a little bit. I have my, hand, I have my left hand off the controller. So we're just going to uh, ride along. Wait a minute. I think he's right here. Yeah, I hear the drum. Alright, what's your deal, dude? I know you got a quest. Ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum yeah come on ba dum ba dum be dum buzz ba dum ba da okay what are you doing? Whoa! Hey, don't interrupt. I'm busy calling the bees with my beat. Come on, don't look at me like that. I know it's goofy, but I gotta try. See, the conductor of this little musical troupe that I play in has been a little down. I figure I'll make him some honey creeps. That should cheer our maestro right up. Maestro, maestro. But I can't get my hands on any coarser bee honey. How am I supposed to make honey crepes without the honey? 
That's why I'm trying to lure in some bees with my beat. All I need is three combs of honey. Uh. Some said there are beehives north of Kakariko Village up to north near that huge hole that opened up. The hole's pretty scary. No way I'm going th near that. How many do I have? I only have one. Shit. Okay. Alrighty. So we're going to have to go grab some honeycombs. Speaking of honeycomb, come here, honeycomb. There we go. All right. Don't worry about me, Gerudo Traveler. That is a drum that you are listening to. Go to where that huge, huge chasm is. Anyway, and just go through here. All right. I was just thinking. I thought this road was blocked off, but it isn't. Man, I'm getting myself confused with this game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just... I just realized I probably could have gotten to Hateno Village much faster. Turns out I don't know what I'm doing. Even though, logically, I really should. Anyway. We want to go over this over this area. Right? Oh, fuck. It's gonna rain. Okay. Well, you know what? First things first. We are going to go to the goddess statue. Grab a stamina vessel. And then wait out the rain. We're gonna grab ourselves a handy dandy vessel. I want some more stamina. Hell yeah. There we go. Cool beans. Stamina vessel. Just need one more for a full, for another full wheel. I think you could get like three full wheels of stamina. So anyway. Oh, come on. Hey. Welcome, friend. Those eyelids feeling heavy? Then you come to the right place. Pick any bed in this inn and it's yours for a paltry 10,000 rupees. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. You should have seen the look on your face. Ew, yeah, I don't even work here. I stopped by hoping to catch some Z's with the owner up and asked me to keep an eye on the place. He said he had to go make up beds for the survey team tents and he'd be right back, but uh, I don't think he's coming back. I want to look for him, but there are only four tent camps in this village and only one me. Okay, so we there's a side quest we have to find a guy. Jesus Christ, I actually have to get the dude? Alright, I'm not doing another fucking side quest, man. Jesus Christ. What's a man gotta do to uh, wait out the rain? Maybe I will just look for the fucker. Damn, okay. Well, while I'm here, let's go talk to the nerdy man. There should be a nerdy man around here. Guess not. Okay, well, whatever. What fucking ever, man. I think we can climb up here now. We can climb on ladders in the rain. That's still fine. So, don't have to worry about that. Jesus Christ, did I really... Hmm. I'm such a fool. I'm a big old fucking fool, man. All right. Jesus Christ, I don't even want to do the side quest. I just kind of have to. I don't even know if I can. Let me see. Is anywhere where it's... You see these red tags, you can't go past. Yeah, no, I just can't... Stri I straight up can't do this, because I can't really get any farther. There should be... I have an idea where the owner is. He should be, like... Up on the scaffolding. Just sleeping. It's like, Jesus Christ, dude. Jesus effing Christ. Damn it. It's like the game's weather knows when I need to do something. It's like, oh, I just do this quick little side quest. Bring the guy back and, um, you know. Just, uh, it'll, it'll be quick. But no, it's not quick. It's, it's a major pain in my ass right now. And it's like, god damn it. And you know, I wouldn't be in such a bind if it wasn't raining. Like, I do have the sticky elixir. But what you need to understand about that is that it is time limited, <laughs> and I don't want to waste it. Okay, well the rain's cleared up a little bit, so I can uh, try to get to where I want to go. And what I can do, I think, I think I could just pull this out, can I? Yeah, there we go. All right. There we go. Oh, actually, I think the owner of the inn is right over here somewhere. First of all, grab one of these. 
Piss off the bees, I know. Let's tip the fuck over bees. Okay. And here's one more. Ah, the bee's worst enemy. The spear. Where'd the, where'd the honey go? Where's my honey? Ah, it just rolled over here. That is a big scary chasm that opened up. We'll look for the sleeping dumbass real fast because... Well, it's already time to stop and I may as well finish up the side quest. Jesus Christ. He should be up in this area. Hmm. Maybe I'm just mistaken. Maybe I can't do this right now. I don't know. What is the deal? What is the deal? You should have the sleepy fucker around here. He's sleeping on something important, too. So there's an NPC that's just pissed off at him. Yeah, we can't go past here because, um, we'll get yelled at if we do. You know what? Fuck it, man. I'm just gonna go back to the musician, give him his honey. And then, ooh, there's a zone I device to spend to. Okay, you know what, fuck it. We'll do that next time. What we are gonna do is go to this dispenser, get some stuff, then we'll end the episode, okay? Sorry about that, guys. This, this did not go as planned, and it's honestly a little irritating that it didn't, but... We'll get to Hatino Village, we'll get the sensor, and then we'll get on with the, uh... We'll get out on with the quest, I promised. I want to get the picture of the sticky frog, though. There we go. All these compendium pictures will come in handy later, trust me. Wait, I really want that sticky frog. Because we can make a sticky elixir with it. There we go. He's not up here, is he? Dude, no. No, he's not. Okay. Fuck it, man. Let's go see what's in here. Where's my charges? Nope. What am I... Didn't mean to charge my thing, but I guess I have extra charges for when I use a Zonai device next. Alright. What are we getting? What are we getting? Fan stabilizer. Okay. Big wheels. Okay, cool. Let's get a ton of them. Alright. I want it all. And I want it now. Okay. Okay, guys. We'll end the episode here. Uh, again, things didn't go as planned, but... That happens, man. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Do me a solid. Like, comment, subscribe. Click the bell. Share the video around. Really would help me out a lot, and I do appreciate your support. When the next episode starts, I'll just be at the musician. And then we could just go ahead and uh, finish up the, uh... Great Fairy side quest and be on our merry way. But, till then, I'm JT Gunner, and this is Tears of the Kingdom, and I will see you next time. So I will see you later.